Hey everybody, welcome to the Fire It Up with CJ show. Today we're going to be doing some special readings using shamanic astrology with Daniel Giamari. If we look at Donald Trump's horoscope um, using shamanic astrology, uh, it's probably one of the most dramatic examples of... I mean, there's no subtlety to it whatsoever. It's like it's what it is. What it is is what it is. Right. <laughs> um, so we have um, him with Mars and Leo. Okay. So the version of the masculine that he came in to investigate is the Leo archetype, the which um, uh, is that whole spectrum from um, you know the the king, the the the, the golden boy, the okay. uh, the great man, um, to to um, uh, the shadow side of Leo, which um, is extreme narcissism, yeah. okay. um, uh, a complete lack of sensitivity to anyone but himself. Okay. That's the shadow side, uh, right? But there's positive sides too, right? Uh, at its best, um, and, and, and I sh I'll throw this in here, that he also has Leo rising. Oh, okay. okay. So that means that the directional flow of his soul is toward Leo. It's not only that, it's 29.58 degrees Leo, which is a specific star mm -hmm. in the sky, which is Regulus, the heart of the lion. Wow, which so he's Leo, is, is Leo. always considered to be, you know, one of the the most important um, signatures anyone can have. Okay. Um, yet we can't say it's good or bad. I right. mean, at, say at its best, it, it, it's uh, inspiring and and uh, it's supposed to to empower everyone around them. Mm -hmm. At its worst, it's um, you know, I'm God and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the shadow of Leo in the simplest right, form. Right, it could go both directions. Uh -huh. So we were talking about the Mars position is the god or the okay. expression of masculinity he came in to be, but he could have had one of twelve different rising signs, ah. and so the rising sign is Leo. So it's like the Leo god working in the direction of the Leo school. So ah, that's a okay. lot of Leo. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just uh, since we're talking about presidential politics here, uh, there, there's an, another example recently of a, of a former president who also had Leo rising. Who was that? George Bush the younger. <laughs> okay. Okay. And so my great my greatest difficulty when in having someone with too much power that has Leo rising is that they're practicing being Leo. They're not masters of it. So essentially they, oh, they are... They came into this life to learn how to be a Leo. Correct. I'm the decider. You know, God told me to do it. I mean, that's. I, I would rather have a Leo rising practice being Leo by giving him, you know, a safe job. You know, like getting the beer for the fraternity. <laughs> Okay, and what's and what's um, what's his moon sign for? Um... His, his, his moon is in Sagittarius, and he say? was actually born at the full moon. Ooh. Oh, wow. So his moon in Sag, his sun in Gemini, opposite the moon. It, it's a, a very, very radiant, huge energy horoscope, without any question, okay? But it's almost singularly absent in empathy or sensitivity. Mm, interesting. <laughs> you know, so well, it's, it's all, all, all quiet. No, it does. I know. That's why I say it's pretty stunning <laughs> as far as how his chart is actually such a reflection of what we see. Hillary. Now, Hillary's an interesting case. Um, you sent me the chart that shows her as Scorpio rising, but I will say that there is some controversy about her birth time. Okay. So she may or may not be Scorpio rising. I tend to think of her as Scorpio rising, but just the same as Donald, she is Venus in Scorpio and Scorpio rising. Wow. Fascinating. Right? So that's right. a lot of women power energy. It's well, yeah. I mean, it's it's basically I'm I'm sovereign, autonomous, but it's also the shadow of Scorpio, is also without very much empathy or sensitivity. You know, it's a it's an element of like hard driving, <laughs> strong will, um, but also at its worst, um, oh, wow. incredibly manipulative. Um, mm -hmm. And if I was doing a reading for her, mm -hmm. noticing that she also has a Pisces moon. When I work with individuals, I'm just this is just like an average person. Right. Forget forget about Hillary herself. As I was doing a reading for somebody with this chart, is that she came into the life having spent lifetimes being in service. Um, you know, like uh, saving the world, yeah. a, a healer, a very sensitive, other-oriented person. It's kind of um, 
uh, obvious to me that why in her early years she was oriented toward you know socialism, communism, right. you know systems that were that are that are that are um, uh, making it safe for everybody and caring yes. about everybody. However, when we have her current life path, Venus and Scorpio, Scorpio rising. It's a real match for Donald as far as... Yeah, it's um, like a female male. You pick which correct. one you want. Same kind of thing, right? It's all about her. It's totally, really mm. all about her. And she would do anything. Well, they would both pretty much do anything. Um, <laughs> so it's this, we could say the shadow side of Shakti, the shadow side of the sorceress witch. I, I mean, th there's lots of women that, that are going to, to, to um, go, to the, uh, go to the ramparts for her. You know, right. because they, because she represents a really gutsy, ballsy version of the feminine principle. I see. Okay, got it. So the positive aspect of her, of being a Scorpio, Scorpio mm -hmm. in her, uh, what would be the positive aspect? Just to be balanced. Strength. Okay. The strength, but, but, at, but at, at its worst, it's like the strength that, which is like beating the men at their own games. Oh. You know, and then, it, then you're taking on the worst excesses of the patriarchal model. Mm. If you were to be non-biased in either of them, what would you well, say? Well, this is why I was giving you the example that if I was working with a client with Pisces, Moon, Scorpio, Rising, I would actually say, in the current life, your objective is to be more, have it be, have it be more about you, to be more um, self-centered, to be more fierce and strong. Ah, and and okay. I'll even bring out another factor. The, the, one of the characteristics of a Scorpio rising Venus and Scorpio person, male or female, is they become what's called a shadow magnet. Mm. They, they, they catalyze where hidden stuff is, you know, they, they're more likely to piss off as many people as people who love them, you know, right. because they're, 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 the more they become strong, the more they become out there, the more they become, <clears throat> you know, filled with their, the strength of their will, the, the more they're going to call out the shadow material in others and then we can cer certainly see how that's played out in her own life okay now if Donald were to come to you what would you say not Donald you just saw someone with his profile what would you say kind of kind of reminds me of another individual with a similar chart who had a Sag moon like mm -hmm. him yeah uh, uh, Newt Gingrich Oh wow! And fascinating. so, and 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 amazingly enough, I actually did do a reading for him. Yeah. Basically, somebody who has a Sag Moon comes into the life as a visionary. They they basically had been spiritual. They had been explorers of the truth. They they had the capacity to boldly go where no one has gone before. The expansion of the self to the widest possible horizons. Mm. And so, I was attempting to say, you know, what makes you potentially a really great leader is the fact that you are connecting to those those elements that are more spiritual more more cosmic overview more going into new territory to to, to be an innovator to, right. to, to 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 be to be inspiring right to the leo is but now now bernie on yeah the other, bernie he what we do know about his chart we don't know his rising sign he has mars and the moon both in aries basically it's a mission and purpose it's like the the whole thing about aries is having this black and white all in noble cause or purpose that a person has been engaged oh, in oh wow and it's another example of him. Mean, he's certainly been a warrior, a yeah. one-pointed. I mean, he's had the one sort of set of conditions, uh, some a set of instructions that he's followed his whole life. Yeah. So, so while we still have a few minutes here, let me just mention, though, something about the way the cycles are operating with him. Mm. So Bernie is in that cycle that happens in our 70s, which is the last possible cycle to be 100% completely in our power. It's sort of like he had to do it now. Mm. The, the cycle is so strong for him. Now, I'm not saying that means he'll win an election, but it would mean that uh, when he, he, when he says... He has to do this. Yeah, and it, it's when he says, don't underestimate me, that's really the case when you're dealing with somebody that with that much Aries who is so one-pointed on, on in what their whole life has been about, mm. you know. So there's that. I did notice something about Trump's cycles that are extremely intriguing. It does turn out that next September, October, November, that time, he is in the high point of a 12-year cycle. He has Jupiter in the sign of Libra. And so generally when a person reaches their Jupiter return, 
which is what he will be in at that point. It's exactly expa it's expanding. Each of these 12 year cycles, mm. he would have had his Jupiter return. And, mm. and that's a pretty positive symbol for pretty much being at the peak of his powers. Oh, no. <laughs> so he and may win. Okay, how about Hillary? Yeah. What cycle is she in? Great. The, the, she had some very challenging cycles over the last year, year and a half, which yeah. she has survived. Yes. So. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a predictive astrologer. You know. I mean, it's like I'm not calling out to see. You know, what's going to happen here. Um, it's the whole thing is so completely up in the air. Just as the whole thing is completely up in the air for the United States. Period. Mm. 2016 is um, pretty front lines as far as very difficult cycles that the United States is going through. It means so much to me that you're listening to the show. I would love your support in any way by giving me comments below or to subscribe to the show or share the show with friends. Thank you again for your support. Love and blessings.